After ordering 27 Kalyani M4 armored vehicles and 1,300 air-droppable variant of Mahindra Light Specialist Vehicle, the Indian Army is all set to place an order for 100-wheeled armored platform with Tata Group. The 25-ton wheeled armored platform is powered by a 600-horsepower diesel engine and is equipped with a BMP-2 turret, 7.62mm machine gun, features amphibious drive mode, hydraulically operated ramp door and day-night crew assistance camera. It can carry 10 soldiers, and its armor can also be configured to provide Stenag 1 to Stenag 4 level protection. The Indian Army has issued a request for information to procure 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system, and this procurement will be done under by Indian category and by and make in India category. The Indian Army has a requirement of 814 mounted gun system, and the project is expected to cost around 15,750 crore rupees. The Ordnance Factory Board will offer the Danush 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system, private sector firm Bharat Forge will offer the Atags mounted gun system, Tata and Binal Group will offer the T5 truck mounted howitzer, while Larson and Tubro and Nexter will field its Caesar truck mounted howitzer. Hindustan Aeronautics has integrated the ELL 8222 SP electronic warfare pod of Israeli firm Melpi Systems on the IOC and FOC standard Tejas Mark I fighters, that will later be replaced with indigenous self-protection jamming pod. The integration of Astra Mark I missile is also being carried on a Tejas limited series production aircraft and it will be tested by the end of 2021, that will be followed by forward deployment of Tejas fighters in 2022. <laughs> Private sector firm Zeus Numerix has been granted 1.5 crore rupees from the Ministry of Defence to partner Goa Shipyard Limited for making next-generation stealth frigates and destroyers. Instead of physically designing hull forms and superstructures to determine their stealth and visibility to radar systems, the company will simulate this process on supercomputers, that will also lead to enormous cost savings. Bharat Dynamics has flagged off another batch of Akash surface-to-air missiles for delivery to the Indian Army. Officials have said, Bharat Dynamics has been receiving several leads for export of the Akash system from various countries, which is expected to be converted into firm orders in the next few months. A 30-member contingent of the Indian Army will participate in a four-nation military exercise in Bangladesh from 4 April, and interestingly, Bangladesh has not invited Pakistan to the multinational army exercises in which India, Sri Lanka and Bhutan will also participate. There are also reports that Pentagon has blocked US Air Force from sending fighter jets to Pakistan for an ongoing aerial exercise ACES Meet 2021, and only a non-flying US contingent will participate. The Russian Foreign Minister will discuss the deal for AK-203 rifles Kamov helicopters and P-75I submarine project during his arrival to India next week, and interestingly, he will also travel to Pakistan directly from India for a rare two-day visit, which is certain to raise eyebrows in the defense establishment, as Russia's growing ties with Pakistan in the military and diplomatic domain remains a thorny issue in India-Russia relationship. Thank <laughs> you.